First up tonight, a major company is now filling hundreds of jobs at its new global headquarters in Uptown Charlotte. Today, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper and Charlotte Mayor Vi Lyles were there for Honeywell's grand opening on South Mid Street. The Fortune 100 company announced its plans in 2018 to move its global headquarters for the corporate offices from New Jersey to Charlotte. And WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison is joining us live near the headquarters. Shay, this is a huge deal for the Queen City. Yes, it is. And the CEO of Honeywell said there were a few reasons why they chose the Queen City. One of them was the Charlotte International Airport. In addition to the workforce here, and they said the city's commitment to diversity and inclusion were just some of those primary reasons why they chose to be headquartered here. The company is set to create 750 jobs over the next six years, including 150 positions that were based in New Jersey that are now in the building. Good morning. Thank you all for being here. Dozens of employees, state and local representatives packed this room in the newly built headquarters of Honeywell in Uptown Charlotte. One, two, three, let's cut it. Today's grand wow. opening signaled a new era for the Fortune 100 company. Honeywell CEO Darius Adam Check says he wants to tap directly into the workforce of local and state colleges. More than 50% of some of our interns are diversity hires. So we believe in really retaining, attracting all the way at the early stages and then keeping our diverse talent throughout their whole career. The company requires everyone who currently works at the headquarters and future employees be vaccinated due to its government contracts. We look forward to this company growing. We North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper says he's happy that Honeywell embraced vaccine mandates. It is so important to get people vaccinated so that not only can we pull out of where we are now, that we're ready for anything else that may come about. Honeywell primarily operates in aerospace, building technologies, performance materials and technologies, and safety and productivity solutions. Charlotte Council Member Malcolm Graham says the jobs offered by Honeywell will help affordability in the city. Well, not only do we need baseline jobs, but we also need those jobs that pay high wages so individuals can live and work and afford our community. Charlotte is somewhat coming unaffordable, so having a Fortune 100 company like Honeywell coming to our community, providing good paying jobs, eases that burden a little bit. Honeywell has been welcoming an employee since the early part of November, and soon these offices will be buzzing with more staff. On Honeywell's website, more than 300 job openings are listed in North and South Carolina. They vary from aircraft mechanic to a compliance officer. And Mayor Lyles did confirm that Honeywell has made some sort of commitment to making sure people in Charlotte get employed. As to how much for that number, I'm still waiting on an answer from the city. Live in Uptown, Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte. All right, thank you so much, Shay. We'll let folks at home know that Honeywell is actually just one of a growing list of companies calling the Queen City home. The Charlotte Regional Business Alliance says that nine of the largest publicly traded companies in the U.S. are headquartered right here in Charlotte. Some of those include Bank of America, Lowe's, Duke Energy and Truist.